and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Danielle, and I am so very happy that you are here. Now for today's video, we are going to be doing part two of a massive haul. So like I said in my previous video, which if you haven't watched it, please click below and go watch that video first because this is, like I said, part two of a haul. I was gone for 10 months. I ordered a lot of stuff while I was gone and we are just opening it up on my channel and I'm reminding myself what I got and you guys are seeing what I got. So if you're interested to see what I got in the second part of this massive 10 month haul, then just keep watching. All right, so the first place that we're going to be starting with on this part two of the haul is going to be from Ofra. I did buy this on Black Friday, which would be the end of November, in case you are not from the States. And all that I got from there were going to be two of their infamous highlighters. Right here, I have Glow Goals, which is in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials, which is this one. And then I have Rodeo Drive, which is this one. They are both pretty similar in color. But if you are unfamiliar with Ofra, they are very famous for their highlighters and their highlighting formula and I have never owned any so I am very excited to try these. I want to say that the deal was at least 30% 30 30 off and free shipping or something like that so I purchased it and just figured I would send it home and uh, yeah I haven't opened them yet so I'm very excited to try these. The next thing I got is actually a birthday gift, but I figured I would go ahead and include it in this haul. This is going to be from the brand Lux. It is the Adjustable Speed Electric Makeup Brush Cleaner System. So I'm sure you guys have seen this online. It looks like that. So this handle part is electronic. You push start, um, you put a certain size holder on your brush, and then you just add some water with soap or the cleaning solution, you place it in the bowl, dip your brush in the solution, work it for 10 seconds, turn on the spinner, which has three levels of agitation and spin in the solution. Lift the brush, let it spin for a few more seconds, it will come out completely clean and dry. So thank you, Rochelle. This was a birthday gift from my other girl singer on my last contract, and she had it sent here because my birthday is the 12th of May, and we got home the 25th, so there was no point in sending it to the ship and then me trying to carry it. It is quite heavy, so I am very excited to, um, to use this, it says it was fully funded on Kickstarter. So very excited about that. Um, I'm sure if anybody is like me, you hate washing your makeup brushes. So hopefully that'll be a better solution and I will let you guys know if it works. All right, so the next few boxes are all going to be <laughs> Ulta. So needless to say, over the past 10 months, I put in several orders from Ulta. So I do have them separated still in their boxes, but they all came from Ulta. So let's just get going, because I have a lot to go over. I think what I'm gonna do is transfer all this to one box. So then I have an empty box to move stuff to. So let's get started. First things first, I have the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. Kathleen Lights is obsessed with it. I wanna try it out. I got the M441 from Morphe. I love that blending brush. So I figured I'd order another one. I got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. This is supposed to be a really good under eye setting powder. So I got that. I also got the Morphe. If you didn't know, Morphe is now available at Ulta. I got the Morphe, what is it called? Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge. I like it because it's got this like really cool flat edge right here. So it can bake underneath your uh, contour. You can get right up in your inner corner, stuff like that. Very excited. Then I ordered the Prism Palette. I remember specifically when I put in this specific order that this was the whole reason that I put this order in because this palette, I kind of had been eyeballing it because I think it has some really unique shades in it, but it was pretty expensive, but then it went half off on Ulta. So I was like, oh, I'm getting that. But those are all the colors, really bright, fun, can create lots of cool looks. So that palette came in that order. Let's see what else we got. We have the Wet n Wild, not a basic peach palette. Really pretty, love the pop of blue. Excited to try that out. I got the Stila One Step Correct Skin Brightening Primer. It looks, woo, just dropped that in my lap. It looks like that, it's kind of cool. It looks like DNA almost. It's like a matrix kind of twirled around, but it's got green, peach, and um, like white. And when you pump it out, they all pump together and help brighten your skin. I also got the, this shirt just wants, you know what, we're just gonna let it live its best life. It wants up on the shoulder, so we're gonna let it. Uh, I got the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Um, I've always heard good things about it, never used it. I got the Smashbox Spotlight Palette. This is a highlighting palette in collaboration with Casey Holmes. She is one of my favorite, if not my favorite YouTuber I've ever watched. I love her, I've been watching her literally for years, and this is her collaboration with Smashbox. So it comes like that. And then those are the three shades. I always feel like videos, ooh, those are nice. Videos never do these kind of things justice because it always gets so washed out. 
I'm not sure which one I forgot. Well, I suck at swatching right now, but you can see very reflective, very excited to try that out. And then speaking of highlights, I also got the Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's beauty brand. Um, used to be strictly available at Walmart, but now they are selling it at Ulta. So I got that highlighting palette. Sticking on the highlighting train, choo-choo. Sorry y'all, I'm speeding right through this because I don't want you to get too bored. So I'm sorry if I'm going faster than you would like, but I have a lot of stuff to get through. So then I also got the Master Chrome Rose Gold Molten, Molten Rose Gold Highlighter by Maybelline. Very pretty. And then let's see what else we got. We have the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. A lot of people rave about this and use it, so figured I'd try it out. This is supposed to be an amazing new drugstore powder. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I got it in the shade 10, which is Fair Light. I will say sh go down a shade because it does, it is pretty um, pigmented in color. I got a couple of blushes by Essence, the Satin Touch blushes. These are what they look like. I got them in the shade Satin Coral and Satin Love. So these were like two or three bucks, so I figured I'd give them a go. I also got the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. Huge pan. Very excited to try this. It is in the shade Too Sunny. And then I got a couple of the Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadows. Another one that's supposed to be kind of similar to the Stila Magnificent Metals. It does not want to focus on anything for me today. Come on. Hello? Well, sorry guys. It doesn't want to focus, but they are just like glittery eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows. Um, as well as I got one same kind of concept. I think that's what this is anyways. Yep, liquid eyeshadow. This is by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade When Stars Align. It's like a deep purple, so the similar concept. I got several different brands versions of these to kind of try out and see if any of them actually compare. So if you guys would be interested in a video about that, let me know. Another highlighter I got is the very famous supposed to be amazing Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amreezy highlight in the shade does it have a shade name? It might just be the Amreezy highlighter. It looks like that. The packaging is beautiful. It's got stars and it's black. And then, oh yeah, that's gorgeous. It's like waves and then nice and golden. Oh, that is soft like butter. Soft like butter. Oh yeah. It's right there on my hand. Oh, I cannot wait to stick that on my face. I've heard such good things about that, so very excited about that. And then I got the Makeup Revolution, what are these called? Liquid Highlighter in the shade Champagne. It's supposed to be a dupe for the, like, um, what's it called? I almost said Makeup Revolution, but that's the brand. Uh, the, oh my gosh, where are they called? The Iconic Drops, Iconic London Drops, or also the... Is it no? I was gonna say it cosmetics. I'm having a really struggling struggle bus time figuring out brand names and things today. But it's a dupe for a higher end product, so I'm excited to try that. Um, I then got the liquid camouflage concealer by Catrice in the shade light beige. I also got the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect. So just a brightening primer. I got a couple more of the NYX Loose Glitters. I like these. I got it in like a royal blue shade as well as a silver iridescent every kind of color shade. I like these. They're really fun for special makeup, stuff like that. And then I got a couple of eyeliners. Is that it in this box? Yeah, so I got the Lottie London AM to PM Coal Black Liner as well as the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light, which is a nude eyeliner. So that is it for those two orders. So I combined two orders to one. And then put that back there and then I have one more order another Ulta order right here so let's see what we got we have the makeup revolution in collaboration with Soph um, 24 eyeshadow palette it's gonna be all those shades right there absolutely gorgeous can't wait to try it this is probably one of the most things I'm most excited about this is the BH cosmetics weekend festival palette I was gonna buy this from the BH cosmetics website and then I ended up having a coupon from Ulta so I ended up saving more money so I bought it from Ulta instead but look how pretty these shades are for summer I cannot wait to play in that very excited like I said in the first video if you've never bought BH cosmetics I highly recommend because it's a very inexpensive price point and their makeup is bomb, especially their eyeshadows. They're really pigmented. Um, I also got the NYX Epic Ink Liner Waterproof Black Liner. Just a pen liner. Excited to try that. 
I also got the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. I don't know if this is going to match me because it looks pretty light, but luckily, I also ordered woo, the Catrice Prime and Fine Makeup Transformer Drops Darkening. So it doesn't add any extra coverage to your makeup, it just darkens it. So I might be using those two together. And then I got the e.l.f. Pore Refining Brush and Mask Tool. So it's like a silicone rubber end on it. And um, this is going to be good for like any type of face mask that you use that's not a sheet mask. You can help smooth it out without having to get your fingers all yucky. Especially if you have long nails like me, it always just gets stuck on, up underneath there. So I bought this to help out with that. And then I got the Milani Stay Put Matte Black Matte eyeliner. As you can see, I'm on an eyeliner kick. I'm still always on the hunt for the next best eyeliner. So I got that. I got the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Setting Spray. Just another setting spray to try out. And then I got a couple of the JCAT Beauty Holographic 3D Eye Toppers. Another one of those like Stila dupe things. I got mine in the shade. Do you have a shade name? So Poppy and Viridian. So like a bluey lavender and like a coppery pink. Excited to try those. Needless to say, I'm going to be trying eye toppers until the cows come home because I got so many different brands. Um, I also, oh my, I got butterfingers. One second, be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I've heard so many good things about this in the shade C5. So going to try that out. Hopefully that'll be the correct shade. Another eyeliner, I got the Lottie London Wing Woman. It's supposed to be good for uh, doing a wing. I think it's a pen, like a pen style as well. And then I got the Lottie London Arch Rival Brow Pencil in the shade medium. So gonna look at that. And then I got the Catrice Liquid Metal Long Lasting Cream Shadow. So another kind of similar creamy metallic-y shade. Let's see here. Oh, that's pretty. This one is in the shade I always hate when I can never find it. Oh, Daily Dose of Rose. So it's like a pinky gold with like a reflect. You see that, it's really nice. And then I got, did I buy two of these? I may have bought two of these. Uh, the AM to PM eyeliner. And then last but not least from Ulta, I got the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown. Always on the hunt for the next breast brow thing. So that is everything from Ulta, Ofra. What else did I open? Is that it? Ulta and Ofra? I think that might be it. So that is it for part two. There is going to be a part three of this series, which is going to be all of the things I bought from Dillard's on their New Year's Day sale. I just figured it was kind of random to put like shoes and clothes into this more makeup style haul. So if you are interested to see that, stay tuned. It will be the next video that is uploaded. It's going to be part three of this series, which is going to be all of the goodies I got from Dillard's. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, give it a giant thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell that way you are notified every time I upload because you know why not so thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye oh I look naked 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 but I'm not but I'm not but